So in my practice, you know, which is an exclusive lung practice, you can imagine I see many patients who have chemorefractory disease. And certainly in those patients who are non-squamous uh, patients, such as the one we're discussing today, who've already had pemetrexid, your second line choice of chemotherapy is docetaxel. Um, and uh, certainly you have the choice, do you give a docetaxel-based combination or docetaxel alone, or do you give immunotherapy? Uh, many people are going right to the immunotherapy now just because uh, the, the, the curves overlap for, for the two, even in pdl one uh, negative patients, and the side effects are perhaps less, uh, and I think that that's true. That's been my experience for an immunotherapy than a chemotherapy. So um, in most cases now, people would give immunotherapy, I think, second line, and save the second line chemotherapy, so to speak, the docetaxel, for third line. Um, my experience with the docetaxel ramucirumab has been both in IO naive as well as IO treated patients because it's been available to us for almost three years now and uh, of course also before that in clinical trials, so I've used it in both. I think it's a well tolerated regimen. It doesn't add much to the docetaxel. It can be used, by the way, in squamous and non-squamous tumors. Uh, there were not, not many issues with bleeding. And my sense is that it improves the outcome, you know, both response rate, PFS, and overall survival, as shown in the REVEL trial. Uh, even in patients, as, as we're seeing with some follow-on studies now to the REVEL and sub-analyses of the REVEL who had progressed on their initial chemotherapy. So we mustn't forget that we still have chemotherapy to offer. And I'll tell you, immunotherapy is all the rage, and we're, we're using a great deal of it at Yale right now. In fact, if patients can't get immunotherapy standard of care frontline, they're getting immunotherapy in some sort of clinical trial. But you know what? You know, most of what I see on a day-to-day -day basis in the clinic are patients who are failing immunotherapy. It's still only uh, 18 to 20 percent, you know, at five years who are, are doing great on the immunotherapy, which is a phenomenal. You know, who would have thought we'd see metastatic disease at five years, 20 percent? That means 80 percent of the patients are either primary refractory to immunotherapy or they're, uh, they get immunotherapy and they become resistant. My experience has been about half those patients that you treat with immunotherapy become resistant. So at that point, you need another agent. You need the new targeted agents, such as you know, uh, targeting VEGF. Uh, you need another chemotherapy. So that's the setting where I think the patient who's had immunotherapy is progressing on the immunotherapy. You have to make a change. That's where I would, I would look to a docetaxel, uh, ramucirumab um, combination, as, as, as we're talking about here. So a little bit different in the order how I would treat the case today. And it probably will be different in uh, a week after, after new data emerge. That's how quickly this field is, is, is moving. That's why it really is important to sort of stay on top of the most recent data.